Ok guys, so welcome back to this course. So now in this video we will handle our search functionality. For example, if I type in here the keyword, then I have to find all the products with that particular keyword. We have already implemented the backend. So now it's time to handle the frontend. So let's go back to my VS Code and in the layout, I'm going to create uh, a new component with the name search.js. Ok. So RACF to create my basic React Arrow function expression or snippet. And in that I have to, I simply go to my header. And in the header I have this field. Ok. So what I do is, I simply go back here first of all and put in here the form. And in, in this form, um let's move this deep from here okay now in this form i'm going to cut this input group from here and put that right here okay so input type is equal to text i research field placeholder is this and then also now let's first of all type here on submit I have to submit the search handler okay and let's first of all define here cons search handler that is going to be an arrow function so first of all e dot prevent default and also we have to first of all bring in our use state here because I have to set the keyword so use state and let's first of all set here the keyword so const oops keyword and then the set keyword so to set the value of the keyword and by default the use state I pass the value of nothing like this and the search handler I simply have to know let's go here first of all and click on or type on change on the values changed and I simply have to have to set the keyword and I pass in here e dot target dot value okay so when, so now the value of it changes i have to set the keyword which is be equal to the request dot uh, e, oh, sorry e dot target dot value whatever the value in here is all right and then i simply type in here that let's first of all first of all let's type here that if keyword exists then simply have to history dot push I have push to slash search slash the keyword right so search slash keyword whatever the keyword is and if there is not any keyword then I simply history dot dot push to slash okay and let's also call here in the trim function to clear all the uh, spaces okay so to basically we only have to get the string and remove all the spaces uh, before and after the keyword and also we have to bring in the history okay simply save it and now if I go to my header I can bring in here import search from dot slash search and then I cannot I cannot put in here the search itself because I have to also pass in here in the search I have to pass in the history right so what I do is I simply bring in the import the route from the react router DOM so from react dash router dom and let's 
put in here the route and let's pass in here the render prop and in the render we simply have to first of all let's close this tag okay in the render i will simply pass here the search search component in that we have to pass in the history okay and let's also pull the history from here right so now we cannot use here history because we are not uh, putting this component in the app or js we are using it inside another component so i have to use here route and in the render prop i will simply uh, set this one i simply pull out the history and then pass in that history to the search component like this all right so let's simply save it i hope that uh, this will work and now go to only home.js and here i will simply type here cons keyword because we also have to pass that keyword to our backend right so match the tramps dot keyword remember we are we are setting here uh, the keyword in the params or oh, that is push not push state okay so we will get the keyword from the params and we will simply pass here the keyword okay and so we save it and we'll also go to the uh, we also have to pull out the match from here we go to the actions product actions and then now let's also handle our keyword by default it is going to be an empty string so we'll pass in here that keyword will be equal to the keyword all right, so we save it and now we go to my app.js and let's duplicate this route so that will be route slash it is going to be search slash the slash the keyword oh sorry column keyword okay so we have to go to this route that is search slash the keyword and the component is going to be same that is the home all right Simply save it now. If I go to my here, read out the page, and if I type here Apple, click on search, and here we go. So you can see that we get here the Apple products so Apple AirPods, Apple MacBook, and then the food and this fruits. All right, so good. If I type here, like um, only MacBook, I will get here MacBook. And if I type here the memory, you can see that I get here the memory card. All right. So our search is working properly. I hope that you understand. It is quite simple. We just have to do the separate component that is search. All right. That contains a field. We are setting the keyword, and then in the search handler, we are simply uh, passing the keyword in the params like this. If that keyword exists and then in the header we are setting the the route and we are passing the history in the search component and then the app.js yes, we have to find a separate route for the slash keyword uh, slash search slash keyword and the component is home itself we also have to pass in the keyword to the backend so we have specified here keyword is equal to this keyword and also we have to pass that keyword uh, from here in the use effect in the home.js yes. right so we save it and that's it and on the next video I will basically have to also add when I, when I search something if I click on Apple or if I type here Apple then if I, I have to provide the filters on the side that I want to get the apples between price of 
200 and 1000 dollars i also have to specify the categories now if, if you click on the fruits i have to display only these this this product all right also the ratings if you want to get all the products that has rating greater than 4.5 or greater than 4 whatever he wants to search right so i will add those filters in my next video in the next video i'm going to first of all handle the price filter